Welcome back to Dragon Origins Age. Shit! Well, it fucked it up already. It was off to a great start. <laughs> oh god! I tried! <laughs> he tries so hard. I tried. God knows you try, dear. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of High Ever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust, then, that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. So welcome to the human noble origin. <laughs> Was I brought here for a reason, and you is your family here, so you're not leaving until tomorrow. Eh. Is your family here? Oh no, I left them in Amaranthine, well away Terrible from the fighting in the south. They do send their best wishes. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. <laughs> Delilah is quite a bit younger than I am. Now, as you get older, those years make less difference. A lesson often hard won. I doubt he'll be receptive, Hal. My fierce boy has his own mind these days, make her bless his heart. Ah, <laughs> temperament to match his fighting skill. Well done, your lordship. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. That sounds like a terrible idea. Why would you it do really this? It really does. Um... Are you certain? <laughs> What's involved in this? Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Uh, uh, they defeated the Darkspawn. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I've no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Uh... <laughs> don't strain my abilities or... No, I'm not that much of an asshole. You sure? 
You're right, I am. And don't <laughs> strain my patience. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Uh... Where's Fergus? Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Uh oh. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. But he has a wife and a grandkid. That means he's gonna die, or they're gonna die, or someone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. This is Dragon Age! No, this is Sparta. That's true, too. Ah, too many codex entries all at once. Not enough. Sup? Shouldn't you be off to your brother, as I asked? Are you sure you'll be all right? Your brother and I go into battle. Not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. Where do you think this Fergus dude is? Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Saying goodbye to Up Oriana and your nephew. Uh, is sending all of our forces a good idea? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems. But I want you to prepare the men left here. In case. In case of what? Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These darkspawn once threatened many lands. If we can't hold them, you must prepare for the worst. I know you will. You are a Kuzland, after all. But let's not speak of ominous things. We shall assume that all will go well, and the Maker will watch over us. I'm going to assume that too. I should go. I'll talk to you soon. Just let me finish my meeting with Duncan. Sup. 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 Yes? How long have you and father been friends? We fought together under King Marrick when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. It will be good to ride beside your father again. I trust the delay with your men is nothing serious. Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. You told my father the delay was your fault. In a manner of speaking, if I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess, my confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. Your daughter is interested in me? The topic has come up from time her. to time. The young and their infatuations. I got the impression she didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. We'll see. I'm sure. There will be much to discuss once I return. I just want to wish you well. I thank you. That is quite unnecessary. You're gonna betray us, you piece of shit. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Not saying a word. May we speak later? Your father has left you in charge of the castle? Then I will see you at dinner tomorrow, if not sooner. I look forward to it. As do I. And check out. Until then. Near. 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 Where do I go? Around. Ah, oh no! I forgot. This game lets me choose things. No! <laughs> oh God, we're gonna be here forever.
Good evening, my lord. We are going to be here forever. Fuck. 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 I'll do it. Fuck. 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 Yes. Yeah, man. Fuck. What's that? Uh, Mother Malal? Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Are you sure the Maker isn't secretly an evil demon that wants to murder all humanity? For sure. Uh, oh, I appreciate Please, that. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Make her watch over Let us. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Make her forgive us there all. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Can you answer a few questions? I cannot. Many await my attendance before they- Damn it. We shall talk with- Fine. Bye. <laughs> jerk. Gosh, well. She's such a jerk. Maybe you're the jerk. No, she is. No, I'm pretty sure you're a jerk. No, yeah. she is. No, you are. It's all her fault. No, it's it's mostly you. No, it's all her. No, it's you. It's her. All yeah. of it. It's her. All of it is. One hundred and twenty-eight percent. It's her. That's not even possible. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Once you remove the one hundred, it is. Why would you want to remove the 100? Because then it's 28% her fault. Lord. But it's still like 72% your fault. Yeah, but see, 28% is enough for Lord. me to blame it on her. Ding! But 78% is over half. Therefore you take the blame. That's how it goes. No, I don't. You don't seem to understand how blaming something on somebody else works, Cassie. I blame Rickard. <laughs> ah, there you go. You got it. Took you a moment. I don't know where any of this stuff goes, man. What is up? A whole Darkspawn army in the south? Surely it can't be true. What is up? You will be up very late tonight giving the Arl's men proper quarters. Yes, you will. Hmm. What am I doing? I have no idea. I've never known. Wait, where was the... That's the library. That's the atrium. Okay, so there's the main hall, so I was like right in here, wasn't I? Yeah, so I was no. here. Okay. Whee! Sup? Oh, I don't, yeah, thanks. Okay. Um, what's over here? There's a door open. Oh, ah. my lord, we were just, uh... Taking a break. Well, uh, well the treasury's <laughs> safe. I'm not even sure why the town stationed us here. Did my father fear someone would steal something? I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. Uh... Who's the key? The town. And perhaps the tanner. I honestly don't know, my lord. Eh, uh, continue your game. Pretend I never came by. My lord is very kind to show us such lenience. 
Yeah, well, I mean, you guys are gonna be dead soon enough anyway, so it's not like it matters. Dear. Have a little fun before you die. Dear. Die. Will. Death. God damn it, Will. What? I will harm you. But I'm being on. Uh, there oh, you I... are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been Thank looking you. all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Duh. Did the dog get into the larder again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. He knows better than to hurt anyone. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Um... I needed to talk to my brother first. Your mother was quite specific. Unless the castle is under attack, you get that dog before doing anything else. Her words, not mine. Uh, Aye. Before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? His name is Duncan. I met him. Is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? I'm not certain. Maybe. Maybe? Have mercy. Is he asking after me or not? Just joking. Yes, he wants Make to test you. Are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. You're forgiven. 